Hey guys, Dave Anderson here, Helicools Helipad. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Hey, now that I have a voltmeter in the cabin, I kind of monitor it a little bit more often, obviously. And when I click on that green button to go ahead and start the vehicle, I notice a pretty good um, loss of voltage. And I'm just kind of wondering what that might be. And, and you know what, one of the first causes is you know, maybe maybe I have corroded fuses and maybe some relays that need to be cleaned up. We're going to take care of that. We're also going to take care of a few things like maybe checking the voltage of the alternator to make sure that it's okay. And also the batteries because we want to have really good stuff for Malachi so that it keeps running perfectly, <laughs> at least as best as these FMTVs can run. You guys stay tuned. A half a volt drop at the power distribution panel should be considered acceptable for this type of vehicle. As you can see by all of the crud that's down in here, all of this uh, uh, dust and whatnot, this area <laughs> probably has gotten wet at one time or another. So this is a little trick that's kind of help you uh, to manage this system a little bit better and to help avoid some of the problems that you might be having. Okay, so here's the trick. Cut yourself a piece of cardboard and a piece of card stock. Okay, so this is just basically heavy paper. Now the first thing you do is you pull a circuit breaker, a little fuse. Now you can tell even with this first one that I've pulled, it does have some oh, minor corrosion on. It looks like something, uh, I don't know, some gunk on there. But anyway, you want to burnish it. And I'm gonna use this, this this uh, cardboard to burnish the, the prongs on this fuse. All right, well, that looks a lot better. The next thing you can do is cut yourself a couple of small pieces of the cardstock and take that cardstock and just push it into the hole of where the fuse goes. You can also use a little bit of Scotch-Brite, you know, just the edge. Um, don't use any sandpaper or any coarse stuff because really all you're doing is you want to burnish the edge. Make it shiny again without any corrosion on it. You don't want to take any of this uh, tin-coated uh, metal off of here. And that way it keeps it nice and clean and fresh. Put it back in and just do the whole doggone thing. It's going to take you a while, but this could cure some of the issues that you might be having. Another little trick that you can do to help make better contact is take a really small pair of pliers and just slightly give 
this one just a bend a little bit out and this one just the opposite direction and that will cause them to kind of um, really bite into the contacts um, don't do it very much uh, I only recommend I mean maybe just a, a degree or two but that will help it uh, bite in um, me I'm not going to do that I'm just going to keep them very very flat but definitely burnish the edges it's also a good idea while you're at it to get your ohm meter out and to check to see with all of these fuses, check the ohms with them. Oh, that's good. Anything over 0.05 uh, might not be a very good fuse. Might be a good time to change it. So you're gonna burn through a lot of cardboard burnishing those edges, but you know what? It's cheap, it's cardboard. No problem. Now I know there's lots of YouTube videos and stuff on the internet on how to test a relay. So I'm gonna go over it really quick in a four easy step process. First things first, I've drawn this little diagram for you. Okay, now that you have that, and I'm gonna post it right up there. The first thing to do is to check the ohms across 85 and 86. You do that with an ohm meter. Next is to hook a ground up to uh, 85 and power supply up to 86 and listen for a click. Okay, so that passes test number two. I'm gonna check resistance across 30 and 87A. And it should be at zero, and it's at zero. Last step is to add power to 30. And then check the voltage across 87A. Note to self. Make sure to do this outside the cockpit because it makes a lot of dust, cardboard dust. Yeah, I think if I did this and broke Overland's truck, I think he'd be a little upset with me. Now I have to say that my fuse panel was actually in really good shape. I mean, I was really surprised, especially how dirty it looked but that was just some surface dust. It had a little bit of corrosion on it, a little bit of uh, some markings on it, but shoot, it was in great shape. Now yours might be a little bit different, and this is something that you need to at least take a look at. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. I appreciate you clicking on this video. Until next time, guys, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there, and God bless.